After catching a lot of yellowtail in about 85 feet of water, we decided we should go down on a dive and see what the bottom actually looked like, maybe uh, spear some fish while we were down there. So we put it on our tanks and uh, went down below. Now as we were going down, it's kind of interesting because as we're descending and I see the bottom, I see this pretty good sized shark. Now thankfully it's, it's swimming away, so I'm like okay, it's fine with me, by all means swim away. And then all of a sudden I look down, that shark is like right there, like checking me out or something. <laughs> I don't know what he was in, if he was, uh, if he didn't like us there in his spot, if he was just checking us out, if he was curious, you know, we didn't have any fish at the time, but he was making me a little nervous, okay? I don't like sharks coming within my personal space. And my personal space is the distance from my shoulder to my hand, plus the end of the spear gun. If you can stay out of that zone, then we're good, we're good. But uh, it seemed like he wanted to get a little too close for comfort. So we kind of just used our spear guns to keep him back, you know, not let him get too close. And he did that for about a minute and then he just swam on. It's like, okay, maybe he'll leave us for real this time. So uh, we continued the dive. You know, of course, I'm uh, looking back every now and then. But we didn't have any more problems with him, so that was good. Kind of, you know, checked out the bottom. Um, didn't see a whole lot of fish to shoot, but kind of got a feel for the structure we were fishing on earlier. Um, not real tall, kind of wavy bottom, natural growing stuff. While we were looking for fish, we started finding uh, all kinds of anchors down there on that bottom. You know, we figured, you know, let's leave the ocean a little bit cleaner than how we found it. So we started picking these anchors up. And like, oh, we'll take them back to the boat, we'll have a spare. Not leave them on the bottom floor, it'll be good. We didn't have a lift bag which would have been nice. So we're like, okay, let's uh, take them back to the anchor line. We'll tie them off there, and we'll just you know, go up and pull them up when we're done. The problem is though, we kind of found several anchors. So I think we had like five plus our own, all on one line. So you know, we go up to the top, do a fish hole up there, and we're like, okay, we gotta pull some anchors up. Now we've kind of done this before, but thankfully we had uh, buddies on the boat and we talked them into pulling it up for us. But unfortunately, Brad and Robert were not there to help us because we could really use their help. They are really good at pulling up anchors. My dad and my brother start pulling the anchor line. Once we get up, they're like, man, you got to come help us. So then all three of us are just pulling the anchor, just pulling it, trying to get these up. And it was a lot heavier than I thought it'd be. And we're just bringing them up and it seems like it's taking forever. That's why we know if we're hungry if it's just because there's six anchors on it. I just like to take a moment to say I wish Brad and Robert were here. Brad and Robert, you know who you are. For those of you who followed our videos, you know who they are too. They can pull anchors like yeah. it ain't nobody's business. Yeah. Don't they have these in the Olympic Games where they like tug of war? <laughs> see them? I think I see the same, man. Really? <laughs> I guess we got a little. <laughs> Maybe that time we ordered eight volcano tacos. I see the chain. They were greedy. <laughs> so they called us for ordering eight volcano tacos at Taco Bell. Karen? Yeah. Oh, this you got you the Do you want to oh, This is heavier than I thought it was. But we finally get it up, or to the chain, and then we start bringing the anchors over, pulling all kinds of different ones up. Number But overall, it was a good dive. We had a lot of fun. 
uh, learn some stuff about the structure, enjoy the downtime, have a little excitement with the shark, and uh, found some acres. So, you know, it was, uh, it was fun. Not what we expected, but a great trip. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more updates, and we'll see you next time.